Hello. Welcome to the swamp. Seven. Right guys, today is the first day of possibly a five day trip. We have decided we're going on a big adventure. So it's a canoe trip, as you can probably guess. And we're gonna do the Great Glen from Fort William up to Inverness. I think it's about 67 miles, something like that. And uh, yeah, just nice big adventure. I got the family with, Natalie and Logan. And I'm out with my friend Jack and James. You might remember James from J Travels. He was actually in my first ever video. So he's one of the guys that inspired me to start YouTube. And, and uh, yeah, if you haven't already checked out his channel, go check out J Travels. Yep. He's the man. That'll be in the description below. <laughs> yeah, it'll be in the description <laughs> below if I bother my butt. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. See ya. Eee! <laughs> Okay, we're about halfway up Neptune's staircase. It's eight locks and uh, halfway up? Not halfway up. Okay, I just got moaned at by the lady who runs this. I firstly said that there was nine locks, so there's only eight. And now we've just got told we're not halfway up, so she's, she's ruining my happiness here. I thought we were almost there. <laughs> A third of the way up, okay, cool. But anyway, so we're, uh, we're getting there though. <laughs> James, I thought he was helping you. He's down there gasping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's oh, instantly right. a blatant lie. <laughs> Captain Logan steering us on. So let's just made it to the first night spot. We um, we just walked up about 100 meters up a hill with all the canoe and all the gear and stuff like that. So I'm a bit out of puff, but we just we got a nice fire spot. Flat grass for the tent. Beautiful view. Happy days. Uh, 
I just scudded my axe into the ground. Put a little nick in it. Uh, that's annoying. But if you want to take better care of an axe like this, then I am doing a giveaway. It won't be this axe, it'll be a brand new one. But yeah, I'm doing a giveaway in my last video. Um, if you go over to that one, just leave a comment, make sure you're subscribed, and you'll be in for the, the giveaway to win this. Really, really good axe. Really powerful, and for stuff like this, it's perfect. Just, just don't scud it into the ground, because that's not so good for it. But I don't have a big chopping block or anything here, so, you know, these things happen. Oh, I had a flame. I don't know why I didn't just pick some birch bark. I'm trying to light feather sticks here. Maybe I can just light this. Oh, do you like these? Yeah, feather stick didn't work. Just dry sticks. Sometimes the simplest way is the best. <laughs> oh, yours has got a stabilizer on it. Yeah, you can't shake me. Damn. Can't touch this. Do, do, do. They can't see you dancing. I know, thank God. <laughs> Going for the lazy man's tripod setup. That, that's when you can't be bothered trimming off all the little scraggly sticks. Standard reef knot with a quick release. We're good. Jack's burned the water. Jack had to move his pot out of the way, it was, it was almost a big disaster. <laughs> almost. Almost, yeah, but we, we salvaged it. Cool, right. And then... Where's your grill? Hmm? You bring the grill, no? Yeah, I brought the grill, but you're not wanting to hang a pot off it first. Just set it on the grill. Okay, well there's an extra. You can cut it again. Go on. Fart. Ta da! Done. And that is how it's done. And usually, folks do that when they face the camera instead of just stopping the fire. Although I do also have my big wooden 
cup, which is uh, possibly more perfect for Jaeger because it holds like a coffee cup. Oh, day one complete. Oh, now we're just going to drink beer and eat food. Hi. Try and make our canoes a bit lighter. Yeah, I did. By massive cold. liquid consumption. A lot of liquid consumption for our behalf. Tomorrow morning, I've already decided. What? There's about, what would you say, that's a 10, 12 foot drop? No, even more than that. 15 foot? Yeah, okay, 15 up. foot drop down into the water. I'm going off that in the morning, so check that out. That'll be tomorrow's video, and uh, that also yeah. may be mine if I have to sober up at some point. Yeah, it'll probably be on his channel too. <laughs> we'll Although if we'll it's on your channel, you got to jump in too. Exactly. We'll have the throw lines ready. Yep. Just in case. Gonna do another cold water shock video. <laughs> oh, is that enough first day? Yep. Although it's not snowing now, it's just. Summer, so there's only four degrees there. Uh, difference between summer and winter. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I think it's going to be nice. Mm. Yeah. To be honest, after that paddling, I need a wash. Yeah. What better way to wash than to cannonball 15 foot down into ice cold water? Look at the light on those mountains. Take it. You should take a photo. It's so stunning. For dinner tonight, we got. Well, it's Dolmio pasta twists with the Dolmio meatball sauce. Oh, let me get the packet out. All right, mini meatball sauce. So it was for two of us. We got two packets of each. So one does you good. And then we had some Doritos, nacho cheese, and barbecue. And chicken. So we've put the nacho cheese on the pasta. Oh, we got some chicken. We ain't starving. <laughs> We're having a feast. We're having a feast, yeah. I noticed, I, it got pointed out in all my other videos. When I'm cooking food, I pretty much always say, well, we're having a feast tonight. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're having a feast tonight. You've done that this morning. <laughs> you actually done that this morning. I'm pretending I got a drone. Hey. <laughs> he's pretending he's got a drone. Of course, this is tomorrow's adventure. <laughs> Woo! Sploosh. In fact, that looks pretty beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah, so this is... Well, you can see there how high it is. It's not, not massively high. I'm not, not going to build it up to be something more than it is. But that will be fun jumping in there. That's where we get out. We are also going to check for depth, don't worry. All we're going to do for that. But yeah, all we're going to do for that is just tie a rock onto a rope. You just drop it down and you see how many, you know, how deep it goes. And then you can also move it about just to make sure that there's no like, like logs or random things there, like somebody's driven a car off here, and uh, and Geronimo. <sighs> I, I think I am, I think I'm illuminated. I'll, yes, it actually feels a bit like getting something out of alien. Yeah. Or, oh, Johnny Five. So, um, oh, I oh, no. one. Oh. any cider, I'm not fussy, and still oh. getting sprayed by a wet dog. He's not wet. Oh, something hit me. Slever. Probably. You're drooling over that sorry ass mark. They're laughing at me because I can't remember how to do an outro. <laughs> but you also do remember your head. I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to see oh, me up the top. slightly um, less drunk in most of my videos. But yeah. Have a good one, guys. I'll catch you for the next one. See ya. Ooh. Now that really does look like a predator monster. I can see is your weird ass beard. Eliminated. I, wonder, I can't even see what I look like in this. Hello. Welcome to the swamp. <laughs>
Sérgio.